hi guys welcome back to the react native video tutorials and in this video we are gonna learn how we can call a function on go back click so it could be the previous screen function or the next screen function so many time you need a call a function before you are going to screen uh, like uh, something you are going to update on next screen and you want to show to the last screen and whenever you uh, whenever you are uh, clicking on the go back you are finding the uh, no changes and then you need to uh, refresh the screen or uh, okay so let's get started with that so first of all okay so i should zoom out the screen okay so you can see that uh, i'm i am going to play with only three screens this is my app.js you can see that i am putting here hashtag navigations and i have the just two screens home and the products so this is my home screen there is nothing uh, little bit style here and these are some imported content and this is my render function here is just one touchable, touchable opacity button with the some text and this is my product screen this is totally blank just one or text here which is uh, telling us that this is a product screen so first of all i am i am going to create a on press function so that we can go to the product screen and after that uh, we will call here uh, go back screen and we will call the function of home screen so let's see so just on press just make an arrow function and i'm going to write here like this dot mm, navigation sorry this dot props dot navigation dot navigate and in the bracket i'm going to put the, my screen name which is the products let's click on it As you can see that we are here and the now our work is start going to here whenever i'm going to click on let we are uh, update some content here and we want to show this content on this screen so oops, actually call it is already made so we will uh, do it from scratch so i'm going to remove my code that's fine so now okay so whenever a uh, user want to go back he want to update the home screen before coming here so how we can do that let's let's see so just so mm, just write here component unmount function and alert something just for testing that is it working fine or not test yes this is working fine but our the aim of this video is call a function which is defined on the home screen and we want to call from the product screen so let's make a function from here like mm, pro func i'm going to alert something here like home screen function that's fine so just make little bit wider the screen so you can see that everything fine so now past this screen with an object so i'm going to write an object here like call home and i'm going to write here this dot function name dot bind the bind is required because without bind the scope of this function will not go in the next screen 
Okay, so I'm going to make it more easier for you. So this is this is a little bit easier to understand. So you can see that we pass the function in the next screen. Let's see, is it everything is working fine? Yeah, fine. So I'm going to come on this screen, and now I'm going to write here. Uh, which is uh, let's find the params const define a const and get params from this dot props dot navigation dot states that's fine so let's check is it any issue for no or for now because uh, i want to test on the every step for better understanding yeah this is fine okay, so i'm going to remove this function and now just we can define that params dot your function name uh, actually the passing parameter which is the call home dot call home and let's see now just click here oops we are not able to find the variable params okay so mm -mm 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 let's check the navigation state uh, this is a uh, very good for debugging mode so you can console dot warn and you can put this you can f here and here we will see in the console first the issue with that so params is fine so there is no issue with that i think so just i want to just print the params so we can find the more debugging ways go back there is no parameter in the params uh, for that uh, we can uh, just put some text like some text now it will show you is something going to the params or not so we can see that there is some text here so this is fine there is no issue I think so we can call it like this actually uh, we made a mistake here we actually misspelled this actually I see now we spell the uh, params here so okay so no issue we just find some more debugging things that you can see that this called the home screen function before coming here so just click on once more and just click here that's fine so okay so if you want to learn one more thing you can do it with the parameters uh, like make a function here which is mm -mm, back function so I'm going to put a function uh, I'm going to put a button here so we can go back from this button and call a previous function also 
so if you want to stop here you can do that but if you want to continue from you can learn one more thing okay so just copy the button from here for quick changes and paste here and with the on press I'm going to delete everything so this dot back fine and in this back function I'm I'm going to find here mm, two things which is one is the navigation and one more thing I want to find from the state which is uh, go back okay so now you can call two things which is uh, one thing is you can call from here we don't need this function now so I'm going to command it and after that we have to go to the call go go back so it will call the first function then it will go to the back screen so it should be work so so let's see click so this is come back here okay so it's not working with the um, actually go back is not working I think because this is not home screen okay so Mm -mm. change some text here go back this function is working but uh -uh. go back is not going to work let's see with the comment these functions and now just try one more okay so we can do one more thing we can take a style from here and put here we need to refresh it click on the go back so we are not able to find the go back variable okay try once more so yes we are able to here to come back with the go back function it should be work now so let's go to the product screen and now just click on that and you are on the home screen so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more interesting uh, and mm, learnable video I can, we can say that and if you have any suggestion then you can put it on our comment and please don't forget to like us on the forecast the link of our facebook page is the description and you can put the directly question here and our code and you can find the same code on our facebook page so thanks guys thanks for watching bye bye take care